All right, welcome back. Last time we fixed a uh, Nikon D5600. Uh, for that matter, that is the we took it apart. Now, I thought in this video I would do a review that will help you be able to fix any digital camera for that matter, whether you've seen it before or haven't seen it before. In our case, that was uh, the D5600 and for matter I believe all digital cameras are going to be covered in this scenario anyway usually the first thing that one would have to notice is what does the device I have been brought for do? in this case this is simply a digital camera that would mean I uh, take photos and in taking photos it will have to therefore have a motherboard that will have to do the image processing and uh, on top of the motherboard definitely you know that here we are dealing with uh, imaging and uh, also a powering up so that the device is able to run in our case this camera had stopped powering up and uh, really can't blame it I like to think I misused it but then again I also expected it to be a little robust. A simple memory card shouldn't have killed it up. And um, in opening it, we said it turned out to have a fault with the motherboard. And uh, we actually tested for the power supply. And that board was okay. Okay, it had blown out. But we corrected that. And in blowing out, it turns out, I think, the power was being over-demanded from it of the motherboard. Of which the motherboard itself had failed now that was what now will bring you to the idea of what parts does the camera have of course now you have the lens systems and that uh, normally does with focusing and making sure your image is clear and as such you will be able to know that the lens is the problem we are dealing with and then two we have the motherboard and uh, the motherboard can bring situations where it is causing errors here and there that if the device is going on perhaps the motherboard is not reading the memory card perhaps it is not processing the image signal and then we have definitely the power board uh, that's in case your camera implements it independent of the main motherboard on top of the power board we will now have uh, the battery sockets and this is to sort of deliver power to the power board which manages its uh, distribution to the main motherboard of course what with holding we have uh, connectors and these are fibers ribbons and all that you would think of and then we shall look at buttons that's also part and parcel of the camera so you should be able to identify based on what the client uh, describes as being the symptom they are facing whether it be a lens issue whether it be a board issue whether it be a power board issue a battery issue a connector issue and a button issue now the question is how do you know that how do you know that i'll just give you a highlight of uh, some of the things that will help point at uh, some of these issues one we say that the lens in case you're having focusing issues then it's likely that that's the problem Two, the motherboard in case you're having issues where the phone the camera doesn't go on at all then you are likely going to suspect the motherboard but before going for it be certain that the power board is uh, actually working well in case your camera is not going on that also will help you be able to diagonize that but um, before you start concluding on these two issues the motherboard or power board first attempt changing the battery and see if it's not your battery that is dead or depleted as to why it is not powering on in case you have eliminated it using uh, a good battery and you know it's not the battery then in that case you can now go forward and look at the power board now the question is uh, being able to get into the power board and uh, also knowing that it's not the buttons because at times if it is the buttons that have failed and the camera is not going on 
it is likely that someone will speak of symptoms such as uh, I used to struggle to power it on but then it would occasionally accept and hear and then now um, if it's not the buttons and uh, how do you know it is the connectors because we are dealing with things we are trying to as much avoid diving straight into the uh, motherboard or power board so we can also have situation whereby it is ribbons and connectors uh, that would be something inside for example uh, the fibers for the lenses in case you're having focusing issues uh, the fibers leading to uh, the buttons that need to be pressed for them to function and uh, all that needs to be discovered now before we proceed if you've reached this far i believe you like what we are doing here we are on a journey to 1000 subscribers and it's my sincere request that you subscribe and uh, please do share videos we need to go forward to reach these 1000 subscribers that will come a long way to helping us and giving us the courage of moving on now the other thing that i wanted to request you as uh, a returning subscriber if you've been watching our content is that uh, we want to hit uh, 4000 watch hours and that is to allow us to get to the point of monetization so that we are able to earn some money off of these videos and that might will go a long way towards us uh, bringing better content in terms of you getting new uh, things we can use to demonstrate some repairs on this channel and most of these review uh, videos in which we teach you uh, roughly how to go about some of these repairs. Now that being said, uh, I wanted to mention one thing now that we are going inside the, our camera to be able to repair it. So I think I thought I, I should bring you one or two tips here. And uh, among those tips is the idea of how am I able to open a camera that I have never even seen in my life or any device for that matter that I have never seen in my life. Now one of the first tips is be humble enough to watch other people's videos. Uh, someone has done uh, this uh, repair before you. you can never assume you are the first person. In that case after you have watched others videos and still are unable to find any that uh, shows you how to get into the device that you're working on then in that case I would employ you to use intuition now intuition is the idea of you look at something and based on previous experience you can uh, propagate and uh, anticipate what uh, the closing mechanism may be and while using intuition I want to emphasize that you should emph emphasize and pay attention to patience. Do not think that uh, patience, patience, patience. Ha! Huh. That word has, uh, yeah, you get the idea. And um, uh, be patient because you may be trying to take apart something, it is resisting uh, to come apart. And you think because you've opened something similar to it, that one also should work the same way. And you could be very wrong. That's when you find yourself breaking a thing that you shouldn't have broken. But um, uh, that is one of the tips I wanted to give you on opening any new device. Be it a camera, a smartphone, um, uh, a, a, a hoofer, a music system, a TV. I just use intuition. That's if at all you have failed to find uh, preceding videos of people who have had a similar issue before you and who have opened before you. Now at times you may be thinking you're simply not finding a video related to your content but that's because probably the search query, that thing you type before you hit search is not the right way of typing it so play around. Let us say for my case Nikon D5600 how to open. Uh, I could say how to open a Nikon D5600 too. Uh, because I know definitely if you are dealing with a motherboard problem, chances are now that we will have to take apart the device. Therefore, I could also search that how to repair a Nikon D5600 uh, motherboard. In most cases, some people may begin with a teardown video, which I showed, and I'm going to link right there. Or in certain scenarios, uh, they may have not started, but then again, it will bring you more reviews. 
on it um, then uh, total if you're having a, a lens issues then you'll say uh, Nikon D5600 lens or if you're sure about the lens model you can type its exact model so somehow you have to know how to type the question that you're looking for if you have tried all permutations in form of questions then the next stage would be to simply you know what proceed and use your guts and uh, one in case you've decided to use your guts and intuition, intuition uh, first attempt to look for screws in my case there were screws locking there and there but the problem is that uh, they were not out in the open because uh, there were these rubber uh, paddings let me just pick out one for you that were concealing them and it's a common trait among uh, most manufacturers nowadays to hide the uh, screws underneath uh, rubber paddings or rubber, rubber rubber that has been glued over the screws themselves okay this thing is still sticky which is good so now imagine like in my case there was this rubber gasket this was sort of hovering over here covering a screw right then there. anyway you'll see it in the video so in case uh, you've gone the intuition way please uh, use some hints to figure out how to get inside underneath any rubber if you are not seeing screws in the open there must be a screw underneath that anyway if uh, you've watched this far i am very glad and delighted in the fact that you've been with me this far and i think let me proceed to wind down this video by telling you that um, now this camera as it stands you may have noticed in the previous videos i wasn't able to conclusively get to a solution so it turned out to be pointing at the main motherboard and what i'm going to do is i'm going to ship a motherboard from aliexpress because i managed to find a few there that were at roughly a hundred dollars this camera actually came i bought it at six hundred dollars so a hundred seems a reasonable thing seeing that i am not going to place in so i'm going to take a leap of faith and hope the motherboard i'm going to get is fully functional i'm going to bring you that video when the motherboard arrives maybe i'll also show you how i shipped it in please leave a comment below if you want to know you would want to know about that but i definitely will show you when the motherboard finally comes right now i have roughly just put it together because i can't leave it hanging around and uh, if you notice uh, the polythene that i was using here this is to stash it away without uh, allowing dust to get it get in now um the other thing uh, that i wanted to make mention is why did i opt to ship the entire motherboard that's because after analyzing the power board the one that uh, receives power directly straight from the battery and feeds it to all the other small boards on the uh, motherboard and motors and all that um, i had already fixed a, a blown fuse ceramic fuse for that matter uh, the transistors on that power board i had already taken measurements of them and they were functioning so that brings me to the fact that because of knowledge of components i am able to troubleshoot a motherboard and see if uh, i am able to fix that part or not for the main motherboard i noticed that the component was a bit uh, complex and uh, not available on the mass market because it is uh, nikon's proprietary work uh, which is a bit hard to get so it seemed much easier for me to find the entire motherboard but anyway we'll cross that bridge when we actually do reach there and um, be feel free to be among the first people to see that video uh, on this channel and um, uh, thank you for watching me this far and uh, just one simple reminder please do hit the subscribe button and please do watch the videos till the end we want to hit the 4000 hours please 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 and uh, thank you see you in the next video all right